Hey, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. For my 40th birthday, I traveled for 40 days. The first three days in Malaga were amazing. The second stop on my journey is Gibraltar. I'm excited to check it out, so let's get started. Gibraltar is a British overseas territory just across the border from La Línea de la Concepción in Spain. I took the bus from Malaga to La Línea, then crossed the border to Gibraltar on foot. On Sundays, it's hard to find a taxi at the border. Schedule ahead with your hotel or bring pounds for the bus. I stayed at the Elliott Hotel in the heart of Old Town Gibraltar. My room had a beautiful view of the Rock of Gibraltar from the balcony. Rooms on the opposite side of the hotel overlook Gibraltar Bay. The rooftop has a pool and panoramic views of Gibraltar. It was a little too cold to swim in March, but I can't wait to come back on my next visit. The breakfast room is on the top floor as well and overlooks Gibraltar Bay. There's also a pool bar, gym, solarium, and two restaurants on site. A breakfast buffet with full English breakfast was included in my room rate. With only two days in Gibraltar, I had a lot to see and do. Luckily, the best shops and restaurants are nearby. The Elliott Hotel is located just off Main Street. Gibraltar is a great place to go for duty-free shopping. Main Street is lined with tons of local and international brands. Check out some of the local cafes and restaurants tucked away on Main Street while you're shopping. After a day of shopping on Main Street, you have to check out Casemate Square. the tempura prawn salad and a negroni at the little rock restaurant and bar in casemate square that's it for day one i'll see you all tomorrow day two started with a gibraltar rock tour i'm not gonna lie i was afraid to take the cable car so I booked a tour on Main Street and they drove us up the mountain. Both. Oh my God, that's so cute.
Okay. You see? Yeah. This is a, 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 an alf. He's a, 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 a male. You can see the and they got teeth like canines, like big dogs. Eh? Believe me. Eh? Our first stop was the Gibraltar Nature Reserve. A population of about 200 Barbary macaques live near the top of the rock. These are the only wild primates in Europe. They're cute and pretty friendly, but don't try to feed them or pet them. Quick! <laughs> they speak English? <laughs> gibberish, gibberish. Near the top of the rock, there is a habitat where caretakers feed the macaques. The caretakers give them celery, sweet potatoes, and carrots to eat. They will steal your food if you get too close. Trust me, I saw them take candy out of a guy's pocket. I don't know if I'm brave or crazy, but I held a macaque. Our tour guide held out a peanut for him and he jumped right on my arms. <laughs> get it from here, Betsy. Yes. Yeah, shoulder. Come around, come around. Yeah, the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so They're not potty trained, but... They're not potty trained. <laughs> okay, give it. Come here, look forward. After seeing the macaques, we went up to the Pillars of Hercules. So this is the view to Morocco. In Spain. And this is Gibraltar. It's amazing that Morocco is only about nine miles away across the Mediterranean Sea. Needless to say, the view at the top of the rock is breathtaking, and the sun is bright. The sky was so clear, we could see all the way to Morocco and into Algeciras, Spain. Here's some footage I got of other people brave enough to take the cable car. For the last stop on our tour, we got an aerial view of the Gibraltar International Airport. Every time a plane lands, traffic has to stop on the main road used to cross the border into Gibraltar. The runway goes right across Woodrow Wilson Avenue. All that will change in April, though. Traffic will cross the border through a new tunnel. I was one of the last few people to cross the border on the runway. It's been a great couple days in Gibraltar. I wish I had more time, but I'll just have to come back and visit again soon. I'm off to my next stop, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.